1714. Do you like my camera work there? Okay, so this room is in the One Hotel, Nashville. And so far, I am thrilled. I'm thrilled with everything about it. I'm thrilled with the bathroom, which is really open concept. I'm thrilled with the robes, which are cozy, and I'll show you. I'll show you the robes. Well, there's the toilet. It's behind a frosted glass kind of deal. Look at the little, ah. Nice, I like it. And then the robes are spectacular. Here. Tell me this is not a cozy robe that you want to get in this cozy robe. This is a cozy robe, look at it. There's me and a cozy robe. Can you see me? I don't know. Production is not my song, st strong suit. And I've been driving for five hours all the way from Atlanta. And I'm really happy that I got this room. It is, I didn't book a room with a view, I just booked a regular old king and um, I got a room with a view that was a king and larger I kind of was like if they upgrade me to a king but it's smaller I don't want it even though I didn't have a view but then when you see this view so I don't know is that the is that the the Marriott right there, that big oval one, I think it is right there. I think we're next to that JW Marriott, which was a place I definitely considered. And there's the Grand Hyatt. Um, everything good in Nashville is kind of close together. Here's the welcome amenity. And um, very, very, very full stocked well look there's a place to put your makeup on if you wear makeup if you're a person who wears makeup you can put makeup on with your little stool boom, boom. here i'm gonna sit right here okay and then they've got this fully stocked mini bar which is here i mean look Nespresso machine, new one. All this stuff, all this stuff. Water. I'm very happy with this room. And um, so I booked this room through my Chase. And, whoa, do you feel Blair Witch? I feel Blair Witch. I booked this room through my Chase. And I, I used some points for it and some cash and um it was a little pricey then and when i went to look at what it was now it was even more pricey it had gone up like 300 a night since i booked it i think when i booked my room it was only in the 400s a night but there's a huge conference here so that's why this room is so much right now and there's a maxim party here tonight and when you're in the lobby you can see that there's a Maxim party happening. There's a bunch of very well-dressed people, very attractive, affluent looking gentlemen and ladies. They look fantastic. So you can tell you're in the right place as soon as you walk into this hotel. It smells great, it feels great, the vibe is great. Um, the valet is expensive. It's $62 a day, but the um, the Chase thing gives you like $100 and then it gives you a $60 breakfast credit. I think that's just once. And so I guess a day and a half of my valet will be covered. I'm gonna be here for four days. And I'll keep you updated, but I have very high hopes for this place because I love the room. I love the decor. I love everything about it, the beam ceilings. I mean, you can, 
obviously watch the hotels videos and see what the rooms look like. I'm here to tell you that it's a very modern, well done, classy place that attracts a very cool crowd. And it is pricey, but hotels are like, they attract certain crowds, they attract certain people. And so this crowd I would say is not young. They're not young. There are people in their mostly 40s and 50s, I think. And they're affluent, they're stylish. Um, that's what I'm seeing. I'll let you know as the week goes on if, that, if, if I've been wrong and if there's something different, but that's what I'm seeing right now. So I love the crowd here. I love the feel of the hotel, the smell of the hotel, the uh, congeniality of the front desk. It's a pet friendly hotel. I have a service dog, so he's here with me, but he's with um, his babysitter because I'm about to go out. So my friend's a nurse, I don't need him. Ha, he's gonna have fun. I'm gonna have fun. And then I never go out, so I'm kind of excited about that. And I'm going to a karate thing, a karate combat thing. So anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, I'll probably be back within three hours. So one hotel, Nashville, do I recommend it? Totally, yes, I recommend it. I'm thrilled that I'm staying here. I am looking forward to a really good time. The room is fantastic. I feel cozy, I feel comfortable. I love the decor, I love the wood. It's very stylishly done and I couldn't be happier. So. If you're gonna go to Nashville and you resonate with me, then this is gonna be your hotel. You're gonna love it. I also love the Conrad here in Nashville a lot. Conrad will give you an amazing upgrade, but they don't do little things like put water next to the bed, which this hotel does. And you should always in a five-star hotel have water next to your bed, right? Duh. And um, they also, didn't have any makeup wipes and they didn't have any um like bath salts even though there was a big bathtub there which I thought was a little bit weird so I don't know maybe that was a one-off thing but I thought the Conrad gave me a great upgrade but they they the housekeeping needed to make that room a little bit more inviting here it feels like housekeeping does a great job my bag was in the room before I could even immediately and um, I also like the Kimpton here. It's more budget friendly. And if you can get a room with a view in the Kimpton, it's amazing. Very comfortable beds, really nice lobby. So I'm gonna be checking out the Omni while I'm here too. And I'll let you know about that. Omni is a tried and true, everyone loves it hotel. So we'll see. So if you're thinking of coming to Nashville, which you should, don't go to like touristy place. There's just gonna be a bunch of frat boys and sorority girls getting drunk gross. Go to the nicer hotels and then you'll find the crowd that you want to be around. It's, it's true. It's true. You can't hang out where teenagers go and college kids go as an adult, unless you just have failed to launch yourself. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please like, please comment. Tell me what you think of Nashville and tell me, would you rather stay in Nashville or Atlanta, since they're only four hours, well, five hours with bad traffic from one another. Would you rather go to Atlanta or Nashville? So, I wonder. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.